this video, we're going to look at the fundamental principles of physical martial arts technique. Physical technique requires physical contact. The essence and evolution of contact is as follows. Point. All movement has a zero-dimensional origin point. Line. The extension of a point is a one-dimensional line. Cross and plane. A line that comes into contact with another line forms a two-dimensional cross. Intersecting lines that enclose space create a plane. Spiral. Multiplication of crossing lines and planes in three-dimensional space creates spiral formations. Point and line technique. Point and line is the principle behind striking and other methods of making contact. Any strike has to travel from one point to another. It begins as a point and ends as a line. This is true of hand-to-hand -hand techniques such as striking with hands, feet, elbows, knees, etc. as well as striking with handheld weapons such as staff, spear, sword, club, knife, whip, bow and arrow, etc. Point and line is also the principle behind modern projectile weapons such as firearms, bombs, and missiles. A bullet is a physical point that travels in a line from the barrel to a target. This line is commonly referred to as the trajectory. Point and line striking technique has four main aspects. Number one, targeting, where the strike is going. Number two, speed, how fast can the strike get there? Number three, power, how much force can it deliver? Number four, combination attack. Because point and line technique ends as a line, it cannot change into anything else. Further attack consists of repetition of point and line strikes or combination attack. In this sense, a rapid series of strikes and a burst from a machine gun work on the same principle. Popular systems that specialize in point and line technique include competition fighting systems like boxing, kickboxing, taekwondo, karate-do, and muay thai. Crossing technique. Crossing technique is the basis of defense. It is the principle and method of integrating offense and defense. There are many terms to describe the various kinds of crossing technique. In English, for example, we have terms like blocking, parrying, bridging, and trapping. All systems based on the use of handheld melee weapons utilize crossing technique, either through weapon-to-weapon -weapon contact or with shields, which are a type of plane. In hand-to-hand -hand systems that use choreographed movement forms as part of their training, a crossing formation is usually present somewhere in the movement sequence, which shows that the concept of crossing method, in other words, the concept of defense, is embedded in the form of these arts. The principle of cross and plane is also evident in the use of shields, cover, armor, and concealment. These are all variations of a plane or surface which help to minimize the risk of damage. Crossing technique is concerned with unifying offense and defense. Its goal is the prevention of strikes and the creation of contact. Its tactical form manifests as interception and conversion of contact. It is an addition-based method that continually creates new structures that build upon one another. Crossing technique is inherent in all practical combative systems. As such, there are many examples of styles that train crossing technique, including Northern and Southern Shaolin, Xing Yi, Bakwa, Baji, Bakme, Wing Chun, Okinawan Karate, Ninjutsu, Kalari Payatu, Sistema, Silat, Kuntao, Eskrima, Fencing, Krav Maga, Kempo Karate, 
Kajukembo, Jeet Kune Do, all modern combatives, and however many other known and unknown styles throughout human history. Spiral technique. Spiral formations are created by the multiplication of straight and side angles. Spiral formations have the tendency to multiply, as everybody knows who has ever had to deal with the tangled up cords on their stereo system. As such, spiral technique involves a multiplying synergistic blending of offense and defense. Spiral formations have the ability to manipulate objects. As such, spiral is the principle behind grappling technique, including grasping, holding, joint locking, and throwing. Spiral technique is also visible with melee weapons that are flexible lines, such as various ropes, chains, and other flexible weapons that have the ability to wrap and entangle. There are also fluid spiral structures that can engulf a target or area such as nets, fire, and smoke. Grappling systems are systems that specialize in spiral technique, such as Greco-Roman wrestling, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Judo, Pelwani, Swai Jiao, Aikido, and Sumo. Now, if we're talking about an art that uses choreographed movement forms, right, as part of their training, if we're talking about those forms in terms of application, the essence of martial arts technique is what we're talking about. Application can either be point in line, aka striking or making contact, crossing technique, preventing being struck while integrating striking, and throwing and grappling. Point line, cross, spiral. 